Hey guys, so we have here our JBL Pulse 3 and in this video we want to explain to you how to perform the uh, firmware or software update on one of these speakers. So this is really easy. Um, all you need is your smartphone and then the JBL Portable app. You install that here, it's available for Android as well as for iPhone. We're going to start this app and within seconds the app should recognize our Pulse 3 as long as it is connected by Bluetooth. And then here we already see here on the very first, at uh, the top here, software update available. So the current version 2.5.0.0, now 2.8.0.0 is available. It just shows us your minor bug fixes. It doesn't give us any more details. And you see on the bottom, the update button itself is right now disabled. It's urging us to uh, plug in the uh, speaker to the charge, to the charger. So let's open up the little flap, put in the uh, micro USB charging cable. So uh, they want to make sure that while we're updating the speaker that it does not run out of battery, even though the speaker is pretty much fully charged at this point, they still urge us to uh, plug it in. And so now you see the update button is now enabled. So let's just press on that. And then it's first going to transferring it's going to transfer the uh, software, the new software from our smartphone here over to the speaker. And after that, it's going to start uh, the update process itself. So the transfer time is about eight minutes, between seven and eight minutes. And while it's doing that, the uh, speaker is going to be illuminated here in white. Can't use the speaker. We also shouldn't uh, use our smartphone at this time. You should just leave them both alone just uh, like don't leave the uh, jbl portable app uh, just to make sure that there's no nothing going wrong while we are doing this also leave the speaker alone don't press any buttons while you're doing that so right after the transfer is completed then it's going to start with the update itself this process takes about two minutes as soon as it starts also here of course, don't touch the app or the speaker just to make sure that nothing goes wrong and we're accidentally uh, breaking here our speaker. So, and as soon as that is done, then the uh, app is going to show us here the success um, animations. This is going to be here this um, smiley face. And then also the uh, color of the speaker is going to change quickly here. It's going to uh, restart eventually also and then at this point the update was successful also I'm going to show this here in the app and now we can start using our speaker again we can also check of course here in the in the portable app that we do have the latest version here software update or software is up to date current version 2.8.00 okay so yeah that was already it for this video hope you found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.